Hey, it's Kamori, and welcome to part three of the sewing machine tutorial. We've already gone over the parts of the machine and how to thread a bobbin, and now we're going to talk about how to thread the machine. So we're going to take our little bobbin from earlier. Now, if you have a bobbin like this one where it ha still has some thread poking out of the top, you can go ahead and trim that off. And there are a couple different ways your machine can be set up. It can either have the bobbin up at the top or it can have a bobbin that loads from the side. So you're going to take your bobbin and there should be a little arrow on your machine there. So drop the bobbin in and take that little piece of thread and you're going to pull it back towards the back of the machine and you're going to feel it click into place through a little tiny metal piece right there. Now we're going to go up and take the thread from earlier, and remember if there's any notch or anything in it, you want the notch going that direction so the thread doesn't get caught. Most modern sewing machines have some sort of arrow either printed on or a plastic raised bit to show some guidelines of where to take the thread. So we're going to take our thread piece and we're going to bring it around through the top there, bring it down, down the edge of the machine, bring it around, and bring it back up. Then we're going to around that metal piece up top and pull it into place so that it goes through this little hole. Bring it back down, bring it around, and then there's this little notch right here. I'm going to bring it around into that notch. Then we're all set and we're just going to thread the thread through the eye of the needle. Sorry, it's a little difficult to do one-handed with the camera. It's a lot easier to do uh, when you have both hands to work with. And then we're going to just take that remaining tail of thread, bring it through the foot, and we're going to pull it back towards the back of the machine. Once you have everything in place, we're then going to turn the hand crank to manually start the stitching. As you're turning the hand crank, you're going to want to take the piece of thread that is coming from the needle and hold it back so that it doesn't get sucked up into the machine. You also want to make sure that your bobbin thread is long enough so that it also won't get sucked into the machine. So once you have that piece taut, you're going to turn the hand crank and it's going to pull the bobbin thread up and as you can see it's going to pull it through the hole of the machine. Then you can just take a pair of scissors and pull that thread up and out so that you now have the two tails pulled back. Now that that thread is out of the way, you can take your little bobbin cover and snap it back into place. I should mention that to remove the bobbin cover, all you need to do is there's this little tiny piece right here, so you just pull it to the side and it'll pop the bobbin cover up. And that's how you thread a sewing machine. For more cosplay sewing tutorials, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.